Impress your friends and shun your neighbors with these somewhat more advanced tricks in session. Hey, by the way, I'm Alex, this guy right here, and I have put a ton of time into playing this skate sim, so I'm going to show you some of the more technical things you can do with your wood on wheels. I'll be using the default left foot right foot control scheme from a regular stance, meaning your character's chest is facing to the right of the screen. But if you're riding in goofy stance, which is facing the opposite way, just swap around the thumbstick inputs I'll be showing in this. First up, if you want to pop like Tori Pudwheel or Tiago Lemos, if you don't skate that means dude that jumps real high, you need to use this technique to ollie higher. For example, a normal ollie can't make it over this trash can from flat ground, but by doing this, you can. To do this, input a normal ollie with the right stick down followed by left stick flicked up, but immediately after, input and hold both sticks upward. That will bone out your ollie forward and up higher. You can use this to get up into grinds you maybe thought you couldn't reach, or clear gaps that you normally can't. This is the most basic tip on this list, but might be the most all around useful. Next up is the Casper, which is pretty much like an upside down manual with one foot under the board. To do these, you first need to head into the experimental options menu, AKA the I know what I'm doing and can handle cooler stuff menu and enable Caspers. Then quickly after inputting a flip, while it's still rotating, you need to input and hold a half tilted stick down on the right stick, or you can do a nose casper with a half tilt up on the left stick. Then just like doing normal flat ground tricks, you can input left or right on the left stick to kick flip or heel flip out, rotate the right stick to shove it out, or combine combos of both to do other tricks out of it. The Casper works best stationary, but you can use it to do short Casper slides or use the left and right triggers to spin around while you're stalled in one. Now you can win a 70s freestyle contest. Maybe. Next, there are two methods to spin your skater around faster, which is useful if you're struggling with pulling consistent flat ground 360s. The first method, after starting a spin in the air with either the left or right triggers, you can also input the left thumbstick in the same direction you're spinning to whip yourself around even faster. That'll make flat ground 360s a lot easier to fully rotate, or allow you to just get more spins in off of ramps. The other method is to land in a pivot to finish partially rotated spins. When you're about to land, just double tap either the left or right triggers to skid the trick around to fully finish the rotation. You can also use this for flare points to rewind tricks back in the opposite direction of how they were spinning. Since I'm already talking about pivots and reverts, let's talk about doing them mid-manual. If you're doing a back truck manual by holding a half tilt downward on the right stick, you can double tap either trigger to rotate 180. However, during that rotation, you need to change the right stick input to a half tilt the opposite direction to maintain that balance. If you don't swap the thumbstick direction during that pivot, you'll put all four wheels back down. Next we have late tricks, which are tricks done with a flick of the foot in mid-air after you have popped. You have to enable the ability to do these, so go into the options, gameplay, flip trick settings, and then late tricks. Now when you're in the air, you can input either a quick flick of either thumbstick left or right to do front foot or back foot flips. You can also do late shove by inputting a normal shove rotation while airborne. This can be used to do a lot of variations after you have input a trick, but you do need some extra hang time to pull them off. Next, if you want a THPS combo like crazy, it is possible to grind, flip, or spin your board and land straight back into a grind. Normally when doing a grind or slide, inputting a trick out of it will send you off to one of the sides. 
However, if you input a grind and then immediately release the grind input and input it again, that will reset your balance, letting you do a trick out of it but straight on with the obstacle. So for this here, I input the ollie, held down on the right stick to 5-0, released for a fraction of a second and went back into holding right stick down to maintain the 5-0, then hit left stick left to kickflip, then held left stick forward to land in a nose grind. Next we have some primos, which are done by balancing on the side of the board. Head into the experimental section first to turn this one on. Then during any flip trick, you can now catch the board in a primo while it's still flipping by pressing down on the left stick and up on the right stick at the same time. Once you're stalled into this, you can do all kinds of different flip tricks out of it. Primos can slide a bit, so you can take them to short mani pads or onto some rails. If you combine primos with the previously mentioned Casper trick, you can now fully get your mullen on, but Daywon wins this round. Next up is pumping, which is using the upward and downward curvature of transition to gain speed without taking your foot off the board. To pump, just press down with your back foot heading into the bottom of transition and again on the way back down. Rinse and repeat to gain some extra speed without pushing. Now the perfect use for your pumping skills is to get up into the new lip trick system on the top of coping on quarter pipes, half pipes, and pools. First you're going to need to head into experimental and enable lip tricks. With that on, pretty much all of your normal slides and grinds will work at the top of coping, or you can use this to do different stalls before heading back down in the transition. And last we have dark slides, which is like a board slide upside down, grinding away your lovely grip tape job. You have to enable these, so head into options, gameplay, grinds, and turn on dark slides. Then during any flip trick, while it's still flipping, input just like a board slide or lip slide, pressing either both thumbsticks away or towards each other. Then input a flip or scoop to whip your board out of it, hopefully right side up. And to wrap this all up, those are just some of the more advanced mechanics you can mess around with in session. Before I go though, I need you to tell me two things down in the comments. Are you a skater in real life, yes or no? Then tell me your honest thoughts on Session if you've given it a try. Interested in seeing both perspectives. Now if you happen to want some extra skating and gaming stuff from me, check me out on those other video movie platforms at BoomstickAlex. Thanks for checking this out today, and good luck, have fun.